welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to make practice topology, uh, I guess we'll call it topology number three. It's going to be a very simple topology, but it's going to let us play around with static routes, default routes, and other uh, dynamic routing protocols, even like RIP, OSPF, EIGRP, even BGP stuff. So usually a lot of times people will say, well, how many routers do I need to really practice with CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE stuff. Well, a lot of times you'll be surprised. With just two routers, you could do 90% of the stuff out there if you really understand what you're looking for and if you really understand how the topologies and the technologies work. So here what we're going to do is we've got GNS3 up and running. Just go ahead and drag two routers. Myself, I like using the 3700 series, the 3725s. So let's see here. Yep, the 3725. If you are using the 2691 image, that's fine. It works just the same. So drag those two routers in. Close out your node types. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do some uh, connecting. Or actually, first, what we have to do is we have to add a serial interface. By default, your routers will come with a fast Ethernet interface, a fast Ethernet 00 and a fast Ethernet 01, giving you two fast Ethernet ports. We're going to add an extra serial link just to make things a little more interesting. So we're going to right click on router 1, click on configure, click on R1, then click on slots. So you can see here in slot 0, it's a FE. We go over to WIC, WIC 0, do the drop down, and we're going to do a WIC 1T. That gives you one serial port. If you wanted two serial ports, you would click WIC 2T. But uh, we want one. One's just fine. Click OK there. We're going to go to router 2. Right click. Configure. Click on R2. Slots. And then WIC 1T also. OK, so we got the slots into our routers. Now we're going to connect them up. And then we're going to click on the Add a Link button. I'm going to click on R1. And let's do the FAST00 first. And then we left click on R2 and FAST00. So our fast Ethernets are hooked up. Left click again on R1, serial 00. So you can see we have the serial link. And left click on R2, serial 00. And unclick the add a link button. So now you've got two links. You probably want to do something like that so it's more legible here. So why would you connect two links to the same router? Well, it could be for failover. Uh, it could be to simulate possibly a modem line. So you want to play around with uh, backup interfaces and stuff like that, dial-on-demand routing. Uh, you want to play around with uh, RIP and you want to see how the RIP packets go. That's always fun. So unfortunately, uh, these are pretty much on top of each other. We don't have a way of sort of like bending this around uh, to make it more legible, but that's all right. As long as you know how it looks like, then that's fine. We're going to add couple loopbacks. We're just going to put the text in there for now just to make things a little bit easier. So loopback 0, 1.1.1.1, and it's a slash 32. To complete this text right here, just click off of the square. You can see it's surrounded by dotted lines. Just click off, and now you can move it around. So just pop this above R1. Let's add some more text. We'll click on the add a note there. Click it right above R2. Loopback 0, enter. 2.2.2.2 slash 32. Click outside of that square and it's about right there. A couple more things we have to label. Let's label the fast Ethernet. Fast Ethernet 10, 10, 12, X. And that makes it a slash 24. So this side of R1, the fast 00, 0 R1 side will be 10, 10, 12, 1. And R2 side will be 10, 10, 12, 2. And actually, we should move this down here. Click that. And our serial link will be 10, 10, 13, X. And that follows the same numbering scheme. So you probably want to do something like that. Then what you want to do is you probably want to save your file somewhere. So file, save as, and just find a directory. I'm going to fire up my routers. And then click the console window. Everything's going to start up.
All right, I'm going to minimize R2 and just work with R1 for now. I'm going to just change the font. So it's right click on the toolbar up here, change settings, window appearance, and I like making it clear type, change, and we'll make it uh, 14 point font right there and apply. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we type in no for that initial configuration and we're going to continue on our way. Enable ConfT hostname R1. So that's pretty easy. No IP domain lookup. And let's configure our loopback interface first in loopback zero IP address 1.1.1.1 255, 255, 255, 255. That's cool. And we probably should do that line console zero stuff, right? Logging synchronous. Okay. So we're now we're going to go back and do fast ethernet zero, zero. Give the IP address of 10, 10, 12, 1. That's a slash 24. No shut. Int zero, zero, zero. IP address 10, 10, 13, 1. And that is a slash 24 and no shut that also. Exit out of there and do a quick write mem. It's the same as copy start. And now do a show IP int BR. You'll see a fast ethernet 00, zero. IP address looks good. A 000, zero, zero IP address looks good right there. And a loop back zero of all ones and that looks just fine. We're going to minimize this window, go to R2. And let's change the font on that. Change settings, window appearance, clear type, change, and 14 point font. Apply, and there we go. All right, no for an initial configuration. Enable ConfT hostname R2, no IP domain lookup. Line console zero. Logging synchronous. All right. Configure the loopback first. Int loopback zero. It's all twos and it's a slash 32. Now we go to the fast Ethernet interface. So it's remember dot two at the end there. So slash 24 and no shut. Int zero zero zero. IP address 10 10 13 2. That's a slash 24 also, and no shut that as well. Just do a quick verification, show IP int BR, and that all looks good. Do a quick write mem. All right, so now it saves it into the router. And now what you want to do is go up here, click on this, looks like an arrow and two screens there. It's just to the left of the console window. Click on that. Click on extract to a directory, and this will save your configs to a directory you specify. You should probably pick the same directory as where you exported your picture, uh, but I don't know. If you want to make things more complicated, you could definitely save it into a different directory if you want. But just save it in the same place just to make your life a little easier. Now remember, you won't be able to save your configs, you know, write your configs to a folder if you haven't done the right mem. So if you forgot to do this in routers one and two, going up here to extract the configs is not going to do you a lot of good. All right, so this was a quick and easy video of practice topology three. We're going to be using this a lot in uh, future videos, a lot of stuff. So it's very, it's deceptively simple, but it will teach you a lot about routing protocols, static routing, default routing, and a lot of other stuff too. So thank you very much for watching.